In North Dakota, fur bear biologists manage mountain lions, bobcats, fishers, and river otters by conducting necropsies. Necropsies are simply an autopsy on an animal. For fur bearer management, we're doing necropsies to collect some very basic demographic and population information from these animals so we can survey them. Tucker said hunters and trappers are required to relinquish the carcass of those fur bears to the game and fish department once the pelt has been removed. Traditional methods like ground or aerial surveys are not practical when managing these species. So things like mountain lions, you know, they're they're really low densities on the landscape. They have huge home ranges. They're nocturnal. They're very secretive, even when they're moving about during the day. So we have to come up with other ways to survey the populations and monitor those population trends. And that's why population models play a critical role in managing these fur bears. The population model is just a statistical estimate of the population abundance or trend. In this case, mostly trends. So we're trying to determine is the population increasing or decreasing? There's two important pieces of information biologists collect when doing necropsies. We want to know how old the animal is when it died so that we can estimate survival based on that age information. And the second thing is we want to find out if it is a female, was she reproductively active in the last year? And if so, how big was that litter that she might have had? Biologists also measure and weigh these species investigate what the animals have been eating, and perform disease surveillance when necessary. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.